Hey everyone, Johnny here. Today I want to go over to the village on the other side of the sky bridge and glass in the villagers and box in the villagers. And I want to put a protective wall of glass around those villagers. There's only two of them left. Those two need to be protected. So a glass wall I feel is the best idea. Like I said in the previous video, need to put a glass wall around them so we can see if there's a raid coming, if there's anything outside, just to make sure it's nice and protected. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoy it, and if there's any other suggestions you've got, please leave them in the comment section below. Let's go and block. Let's go and put a nice glass wall around these villages to protect them and make sure that they feel safe. Okay, so we made it, and there's a village there, a village there, and I think that's the only two left. So let's get to it. I want to keep this guy over here because I want to keep him blacksmithing. So I think if I dig this way. Okay, so I think I'm almost there. So if I run this new wall. Dirt in my wall. Okay, it's starting to get to night time. Not sure I want to be around here at night time. So it's either sleep here or go back. I'm thinking I'm going to go back. So one, I can check on the wall, which is going okay. So go along here, along here, around there, then up a level, then around again, and then back down to here. So it's going well. It's going to be fine. It's going to be excellent. It's going to be finished soon. It's going to be a good wall. It's going to save many villagers' lives. Okay, so I've got this one blocked off here. I'm going to go around this side now and start from this side. Okay, that's this side blocked in. Some of the lower stuff shouldn't be a problem. They're not going to jump over there. This little piece here I can leave. I think the only problem in this wall may be like this high or even from the other side where they can just jump on one block and jump over. So I'll take care of that in a second. And for the running jumpers, we'll take a couple more blocks out. I think that should be okay. They're not going to be able to jump across from there. Oh, no, no, they may be able to. Okay, I'll take out a bit more. Okay, that's better. Right, so now I'm going to go from this side. Get back to your village, you stupid iron golem. Oh, he's patrolling the outside. Come on. You need to be in the middle. Could you go the other way? Is that idiot just going to walk up and down there? He is, isn't he? He's not going to come back this way at all. Come in this way or I'll kill all the villagers. You... Nah. You help someone out of a ditch and they're too stupid to go back inside their own goddamn village. Okay, do you want to go through the wall? If I push you, will that work? No, 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 no. this way. Look, look, I'll go this way. Go this way. No, look, I'll help you. See, this way. This way works. So you go, go this way. Go this way. This way. That's right, keep going. No, 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 This way. I have to push you. I'm going to push you all the way back. Come on. No. No, stupid iron gun. No. This way. This way. Come on. We can do this all day, but I'm going to get tired of it. God damn it. You go on a lead. No, no, no. Stop walking that way. Go that way. That way. I need you in a certain place. Not here. God, you're persistent. Go that way. No. <laughs> this way. Okay, fine. Look, if you can, you go that way. Look, I'll... You no, you will not turn around. No, I just made a hole in the wall. Go that way. <sighs> no, you're not coming out this way now. Oh, you. Thank you for showing me the weak spot. Okay, so I think this is the final wall, and then they are protected. Okay, so the villagers are now protected. They have this beautiful wall around them. They have cows, they have sheep, they have nine golem protecting them, which is awesome. I want to go up one higher on this side. Okay, 
So yeah, I think that is good. I think they're pretty well protected. They've got a nice glass wall. Let's go have a look at it up from up top. And at some point I put the doors in it, but I'm not gonna do that now. Now I'm just gonna make sure that there are no points where they might not escape, might liberate themselves. Because we need to make sure that they're nice and safe and cozy inside this wall. So it goes all the way around here to the bottom of this building, all up to that building, that one, that one, that one. Then it goes along there and across here. And they're all nice and safe. And there's an iron golem protecting them, which is perfect. He did have himself stuck in a hole because he went down to a cave over there, but now he can't get there, so he's safe again. So the next thing to do is learn how these guys breed or import some villagers from somewhere else. I'm not sure which one's easier, but right now I'm going to go back, offload some stuff and things, and go to bed because it's night time. Okay, back home, night time. Go to sleep, then offload some stuff. Look at all this space. Look at all that space I can build with. But there's lots of stuff around, so I'm going to go to bed. Okay, so I can hear an Enderman teleporting around. I don't know where he is, but if he's around me... Well, he's up the top. Where is he? I want to look him in the eyes. Don't be nicking blocks. That's not even a good block. You could have had that one. Where's your eye? Hmm. I may have to thin the herds. But I killed him and all he gave me was a stupid block that he put down. That can be his grave. Okay, let's offload some of this rubbish. Okay, so although I do love all of this noise, I'm going to thin out some of these guys here. Look guys, it's nothing personal, I just... The noise. Okay, so I got quite a bit of stuff from that. Um, maybe thin the pigs out? Should I thin the pigs out? I mean, at some point, they're all going to get thinned out. But right now, they're not a huge problem for me. Okay, so this isn't looking too bad. So what I'm planning on doing is going up a bit and then putting a roof on this. And this is mainly just to use all of those gates that I foolishly put down. Okay, so we've got the sheep pen in still. Put another gate up here and then some sort of roof on this area. So yeah, I reckon two, I reckon go up four high and then make a barn, like a roof over the top of this. But take out some of the gate down here I don't think I'm going to need all of this bit down here. Like you could just have that wide open and just walk in and then go into these guys and put a gate in there as well. So I need to make a few more fences. And this should do us for a few more layers. I'm going to take this one down and this one and this one and this one and this one. Not sure. I think this looks terrible, but I'm going to go with it. Um, right. Okay. So I need to get up and start building the roof. I think this should be great. It's going to be a great roof. I wonder if I can finish this bit by doing it from down here. Oh, I can. That's amazing. I sense a lot of other people aren't as thrilled as I am, but I am thrilled for that. Okay. Thrilled. I'm like a giddy teenager. Okay, so. Next thing I think to be able to do this one. Place a block here. And one of those on top of it, like that. This is going so much easier than I thought it would. I thought I was going to have a lot more problems than this. This is actually really going smooth. Apart from I'm going to run out of roof bits, well, steps in a minute. Best thing about building this roof is it's actually getting safer and safer the higher I go. Apart from this bit. But this is looking great. Um, I need to take that bit out. I wonder if this will actually cut down the noise of the farm. Uh, that would be good. Ah. Okay, let's get this roof done. I wonder. Could I jump onto it now? It's going to hurt a bit, but... It's a quicker route. Okay, um, wood block on the corner. I don't know how high up I should go with this roof now. Or if I should just put a block over the top. If I keep going, it's just going to be up like there. That's a really big roof. But I do have all these roof bits. But saying that, should I put torches in up here as well? Hmm. 
Something to think about while I'm going around. So I think that's high enough. I think this roof is high enough looking like this. Then we just get wooden blocks or planks and just block it off at the top now, which I don't have on me, so I'm gonna go back and get some. Looks a bit dark in the middle up there. So, um, let's stand over this corner. Okay, so torches are great, but how do you make lanterns? Iron and a torch. Okay, so I can only make five, but let's go have a look. I think it's a good cozy barn. You got your lanterns going over there. Everything's kind of lit up. A bit worried about the fire on the roof, but nah, I'd be fine. So I think it looks pretty good. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Today we put a roof on a barn, we actually made a barn, not just a fence, and we also blocked in the villagers, um, protected the villagers with a great wall, a wall that's going to look after them and make sure that they're safe. So roof on barn, glass wall, the glass wall, glass isn't strong, but I'm hoping it'll keep people out, and I'm hoping that we can do something with the villager population over here. Hopefully the next video will be populating the village. I don't know how, but research is definitely needed. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and I hope you're keeping safe. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.